Nemesis Reborn will open to the public on the 16th of March 2024. That's right, Joe here from Theme Park Insanity, and yes, we finally have the news that we've all been waiting for so patiently. Alton Towers have officially revealed this morning that Nemesis Reborn will open to the public on the 16th of March, which of course is the resort's opening day. Very exciting times. Let's discuss more about what we found out this morning following an official press release from Alton Towers. Well, I'll tell you something, it's been a bit of a mad rush this morning trying to get this film. They've literally dropped this news just as I was about to go out on the school run this morning. So I've literally rushed there, dropped my son off and rushed back home to bring you guys this news and obviously sit down and share my thoughts. Genuinely, I could not be more excited about this. And in the official press release this morning that they've actually given out uh, to all of us enthusiasts, they've actually revealed the following, which kind of gives us more idea of what they've actually done with the creature, what we can expect from the reopening and so much more. So let's take a closer look at that and let's talk about what they revealed this morning. So in the official press release this morning, of course, Alton Towers do reveal that it will open to the public on the 16th of March. And yeah, this has been rumoured now for quite some time, of course, especially over the past couple of months. It's been rumoured that obviously Alton Towers are aiming for opening day uh, to open Nemesis Reborn to the public. Well, of course, we now have that official confirmation. We have more news about what we can expect from the creature, the way it will look, and obviously kind of what else we can kind of expect from this whole experience. It's going to be much more immersive, much more different. And of course, opening day expected to be highly theatrical following the closure of the ride back in 2022 so yeah let's take a bit of a closer look at what they revealed uh, in the press release and i'll talk a little bit more about that now it says now known as nemesis reborn a part of the transformation has seen the entire 250 ton 760 meter long track replaced as well as complete overhaul of the beast which gives the ride its name the beast's eye, ringed by razor-sharp teeth, is brought vividly to life through state-of-the-art audio-visual technology, demonstrating its evolution into a predator. Imprisoned underground for much of the past three decades by the shadowy organisation known as the Phalanx, it is now free, to, free and out to wreak vengeance. Extensive new immersive elements with, will propel visitors into this compelling new narrative from the moment they set foot into the resort's Forbidden Valley. There you are. Huge changes coming to Forbidden Valley. And of course, huge changes themselves coming to Nemesis. A much more uh, advanced kind of technological kind of Nemesis creature now. Um, it's going to look very different. We've already obviously seen all of the work they've kind of carried out over the past uh, few weeks, transforming that kind of station building, adding the new spikes to the tail, uh, and obviously all of the various different elements that we're going to see actually on opening day. But we're literally not that far away now. I think it's around about uh, two weeks on Saturday, if I believe, or somewhere around that mark. So, yeah. Very, very exciting times. I genuinely, I can't wait to kind of get back and actually see this for myself. Just get back on Nemesis, find out how it feels in terms of obviously the new track and obviously the new trains, um, experience that for myself and just kind of see what they do to bring in the 30th year of this ride. Now, originally Nemesis opened to the public back in 1994 on the 19th of March. So opening up on the 16th of March makes a lot of sense. It's as close as you can physically get to the actual opening day itself. 30 years of Nemesis at the park. Park. And really, without Nemesis actually being brought to the park in the first place, you won't kind of see what we actually have nowadays in terms of all the sort of style of rides that Alton Towers actually have because of course Nemesis kind of really literally broke ground quite literally where bringing this you know sort of new generation of roller coasters to the result was concerned and of course probably John Wardley's most iconic work and of course John Burton working alongside John Wardley to bring this brand new version of Nemesis to the park in readiness for its 30th anniversary this year. Of course, in true Alton Tower style, they literally announced the reopening of Nemesis Reborn this morning by pulling yet another PR stunt in the heart of Canuck Chase. It's an area that's located uh, on the doorstep of Alton Towers, and of course, the Ministry of Defence have officially investigated dozens of reports of unexplained activity and strange lights in the area. And apparently, incidents include school children who claim to have witnessed an extraterrestrial figure with a lemon shaped head. Um, and the series of triangle shapes uh, seen in the sky. So, I mean, this is an area that's already steeped in sort of history in terms of UFOs and stuff like that. And Alton Towers chose to announce the return of their beloved alien creature by actually creating this massive uh, balloon, which actually had like the nemesis kind of eye on the front. It was all lit up and they literally released it into the sky uh, at the heart of the countryside this morning in terms of sunrise. A really kind of eerie yet kind of compelling sight. And just bringing it back for a brand new sort of nation of 
of thrill seekers to actually enjoy this ride uh, this year. Now, Alton Towers, of course, have pulled PR stunts in the past with reopenings of their other rides in terms of the Smiler, sorry, openings, not reopenings of their other rides. In terms of the Smiler, they spray painted the Smiler logo onto the side of Sheep. They also um, put the Wickerman logo on the London Eye in terms of announcing that there. And then, of course, last year, they actually created the world's biggest doll's house at the heart of Greenwich uh, in readiness for the reopening of the Curse at Alton Manor. So, doing something like this is nothing new for Alton Towers, and it is literally the perfect way to actually announce the return of this ride. Genuinely, I could not be more excited. I'm just so glad that we actually have an opening date now. And, of course, I will be there on opening day. I've got my ticket booked already. I booked it well before this was actually announced. So, I really cannot wait to be back and see what Alton Towers actually do to welcome in the 30th year of Nemesis at the Park. So there you have it, Nemesis Reborn will officially open to the public on the 16th of March. Definitely expecting theatrics with this, as we saw on closing night, of course, the Phalanx stormed Forbidden Valley and started carrying out their investigation. So definitely expecting to see something very similar, but of course in a much different vein following the breaking out of Nemesis in Forbidden Valley. And obviously the Phalanx probably trying to contain this um, as they all kind of get picked off one by one. It's going to be a very exciting opening day. I'm sure the crowds are going to be absolutely massive. This is a really significant uh, kind of event for Orton Towers. It, it signals back the return of Nemesis to the park. And of course, 30 years of this absolutely incredible thrill ride it's probably one of my favorite roller coasters here in the uk it always has been it packs such a punch or at least the uh, original version of it did so i'm definitely expecting the new version to pack just as much of a punch if not more so given its transformation and of course the main kind of question everybody's kind of minds at this stage as well will we see the red rivers return well of course opening day will bring that answer for us and we'll be keeping a very very sharp eye out for that in the weeks ahead following of course what we expect testing to kind of take place if that does actually happen of course speculating there but yeah big times for Alton Towers and big times for the return of Nemesis at Alton Towers as well but I'd love to know your thoughts your expectations on today's news are you really excited for the 16th of March will you be there for the opening day do let me know in the comments below guys and for now if you have enjoyed this video please consider hitting the subscribe button turning on notifications and again if you have enjoyed it smash that like button to let me know it's always really appreciated but for now I'm Joe this is Theme Park Insanity and I'll see you on the next news update take care Bye-bye.